Hello my babies, welcome back to another video. Y'all are gonna be really proud of your mom, okay? I finally took the time to fix my diet, which we all knew was not the healthiest, right? <laughs> I also made myself a new workout routine. So I'm really excited to share it with y'all. For those of you that don't know, I am a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine and I have my bachelor's degree in exercise science. So I would like to think I know a thing or two about writing out a program. I'm gonna tell you the full routine first and then the exercises that I do on my pool day and then I'm gonna show you some meals that I have in a day and tell you guys a little bit about what my macros are at right now so I feel like this would be really good for somebody that's new to training and dieting and trying to create their own routine because this is for free for y'all if you want to join in on me and do this I mean join in with me that sounded weird um and try this routine out for yourself let's get into it shall we and the full comment of the day is this comment right here for a chance to be featured in the next full comment of the day, make sure you leave a comment below. So my split is a push pull legs, upper lower split. Sundays I do pull, Monday push, Tuesday legs, Wednesday I'll do cardio and yoga, Thursday I'll do upper body, Friday I do lower body, and then Saturday more cardio and yoga. So it's really fun. So far I absolutely love it. I really have always been a fan of the push pull legs split. I guess I should tell you guys my goal for this program, right? <laughs> I probably should have started with that. Basically, Basically my goal is just to have more structure and obviously I want to build muscle. I don't know. Is that obvious? I feel like it should be obvious. I'm definitely a nugget girl. <laughs> Ever since the quarantine started and I haven't been going to like an actual gym and just working out at home, I feel like I lost a lot of muscle. So I kind of want to build it back up again and build more strength up and just feel healthier. Definitely with my diet, the goal is more nutrients and a more well-balanced diet for sure. Because if you guys didn't see that what I eat in a day video, my most previous one, I had a lot to fix. <laughs> now let's get into what I do on my pool days. I start off with a warm up, just five minutes of any dynamic movement. And then after I'm all warmed up, I do deadlifts. This is my favorite exercise on the planet. I love deadlifts so, so much. I can tell a huge difference between days that I do them and days that I don't do them, like my pool days. If I ever skip out on deadlifts on my pool days, I do not get as good of a pump or a workout. So I love them. Everybody should do them unless you have some injury or something and then I'll do pull-ups and preacher curls usually I can do more than one pull-up but for some reason I decided to film this on my fourth set oh and I'll, I should tell you guys also for every exercise I do four sets of eight reps eight to ten reps and I take like a minute rest in between I would say I'll do pull-ups supersetted with preacher curls I used to hate preacher curls because they hurt like a bitch but that just means they're working right and then I will do some lat pull-downs supersetted with rows and lat pull downs I feel like have always been a difficult exercise well just the lats in general have all, always been a difficult muscle for me to engage so I finally learned how to engage them properly and if you have a trouble with this too my suggestion and what I do is think of pulling your elbows into your rib cage that might help you it helped me a lot and then I do just some cable rows and I love cable rows they feel really good I don't know what it is about training back but training back muscles just feel so much better than training any other muscle anybody with me anybody agree comment below if you agree and then I'll do do some good mornings because I like to work out my lower back as well. I know some people do these more for hamstrings, but personally I feel them way more in my lower back. And then I superset them with dumbbell curls. And maybe it's just bicep exercises in general. They've always been a bitch for me. They hurt, but if they hurt, they work, right? Is that gonna be a new saying? If it hurts, it works. Okay, I like that saying. Unless it's like an injury hurt, then that's not good. And then finally, I will do some abs. I'll do these things called in and outs and some butterfly kicks, which I forgot to do while I was at the gym. Should have mentioned also that I train abs three times a week with this routine. That is my pool day. Let's talk about the meals that I have. So I have a total of 1,843 calories a day. That is a bit higher than what they were because I was eating about, what was it, like 1,100? Do you guys remember? 11 to 1200 i don't even remember but it was not a lot the comments on that video were all like how do you only eat that many calories and survive <laughs> everyone's like that's enough calories for like my big toe i'm a little bit scared <laughs> to be eating this this much of an increase in calories because i feel like it's a little bit of a jump but then again it's a much larger amount of protein so my protein now is 108 grams carbs are 250 grams and fat is 61 grams compared to before 50 
54 grams. That's not, that's not a lot. It's not enough to build muscle. So I went on over to this website that a dietitian told me it was fairly accurate. So it's called healthyeater.com. I go to their macro calculator and I type in all my info and this is the macros it gave me. That explains my macros, but please keep in mind that my macros are for me. You have probably different ones for, cause everybody's different. Everybody's body needs are different. So please don't take these and use them for yourself and expect them to give you exact results or make you look like me. Dude, I've seen so many videos where people are like, if you eat this, you will look like me. And that's bullshit. <laughs> okay, everybody's different. So if you want to know what a good macro range would be for you based off of your goals, then I would highly recommend you go to this website and type in all your own personal information. And yeah, I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. Anyway, so let's talk about my meals for the day, shall we? So I use my fitness pal to track. To be honest, I don't really track that strictly because I've been down that road before where I weighed out every single thing I ate. It just gets to an unhealthy point for me when I try to do that. Like I get too obsessive over it when I count down to every single gram so I don't necessarily like to do that but if you have a more specific goal than I do because remember my goal is mostly just to be healthy if your specific goal is weight loss or you're prepping for a competition or something then you're probably gonna have to track way more strictly than I do for breakfast this is my classic breakfast I, f I feel like this mama school breakfast will never change but I have two eggs I have a piece of wheat bread because I heard that wheat bread is the best quality and then <laughs> Y'all are gonna be like, Christina, you haven't changed a damn thing. But I have, I promise, just wait. I like to make my toast like a Reese cup. So I put on a little bit of chocolate peanut butter and regular peanut butter. But I don't actually measure out how much I use. I just kind of wing it. <laughs> but this looks to be about like half a tablespoon, I feel. So that's what I put in my fitness pal. I always try to do like half a tablespoon. I just eyeball it. I don't recommend that for everybody, but that's what I do. And obviously I have my coffee and a glass of water. And that is meal number one. And that is a total of 292 calories. The macro breakdown is 18.2 carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 18.2 protein. What? Is that real? Wait, for real? It's all 18? What are the odds of that? That's crazy. Okay. Then for lunch, I usually have more of a brunch than a lunch. Lunch. I like to make a little omelet and y'all are gonna be really proud of me. I added some fruits and vegetables. Hey, look at me go. Aren't you guys proud? So with my omelet, I, I didn't mean to get egg product. I meant to get egg whites, but okay, whatever. I guess egg product works too. I usually try to get like five tablespoons, but once again, I just eyeball it and that's, uh, yep, yeah, that's what I usually get. And then I'll add some spinach to it. I usually add bell peppers to it too, but I was out of them the day I filmed this. I also like to have two strips of vegan bacon or vegetarian bacon whatever you want to call it and it actually tastes good i mean it definitely doesn't taste like regular bacon but it's still pretty good and then i will make some oatmeal as well i'll pour in about like a third of a cup of the oats and then like a third of a cup of the almond milk then i add some blueberries and sometimes i add some chocolate chips too they're dark chocolate though so it's a little bit better than milk chocolate and sometimes i have another cup of coffee but two is my limit i will not have more than two cups of coffee in a day or else i will be an anxious nugget mess that's it for my lunch slash brunch and let's check out the macros of this meal if it's all 18 again i'm gonna lose it <laughs> okay it's not so 42.7 grams of carbs 15 grams of fat and 21.8 grams of protein 380 calories total it is a very filling meal that's why i like adding fruits and vegetables and then moving on to dinner i like to have this chipotle style I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say this word. Is it seitan? Sounds like I'm saying seitan. <laughs> but it's a plant-based protein source. I'm not vegan, by the way. I mostly eat plant-based. I have some of this Uncle Ben's rice. This stuff is a, definitely a staple for me. And then I have some lightly seasoned Asian medley vegetables. I stir it all up. Sometimes I add this chipotle sauce. It makes it very spicy, but very good. And then let's talk about my snacks. So after I work out, I'll usually have a protein shake. By the way, my breakfast is like my pre-workout meal. So then after I work out, I have the shake which consists of almond milk, a banana, peanut butter. Wow, I have a lot of peanut butter throughout my day, I guess, huh? And this berry medley. And then Transparent Labs Organic Vegan Protein. You guys can use my code MOMSWOL for a discount on supplements if you go to the link in the description. And then I blend it all up and it is delicioso. It's about, oh, I don't know the macros for that shake. 
sorry. And then I like to have these protein bars. They are the bomb.com. By the way, a lot of these products, I'm gonna link in the description if you guys wanna check them out, get them for yourself from my Amazon links. And if you use one of my Amazon links, I get a little percentage of that. So you're helping out mom's wool and I know you guys wanna help me out because you love me. Okay. Another breakfast, I mean, <laughs> snack I like to have is this cereal, which isn't really cereal, it's granola, <laughs> but I like to make it into a cereal. That's pretty much my entire meals for the day. I must say, ever since I started this new routine and diet, I've been feeling really good. Like I was looking at my body today and I was like, ooh, nugget gal, look at you, you looking good. I'll post like a little before and after too. Like I'll post an update in a couple weeks months weeks probably just so you guys could see like how much my body changes and mood changes right now just to document this i would say i'm pretty happy with how i look did i say that weird hey, happy <laughs> and my mood mm -hmm. It's a bit up and down, but I don't think that's because of my diet. I actually think my diet has improved my mood a lot. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I said it I said it weird again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be doing these videos, I think, every Friday. Let me know how you like them. Let me know if you have any questions below. Next video will be about my push day. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you haven't subscribed, now is the time to subscribe. Join the Swole Squad. We have Anabolic Cookies over here. Comment below what other videos you would like to see. Give this video a like if you like it to help out the algorithm make sure you have the bell notifications turned on i will see you guys on the next one have a good ass day